G'day everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Pierre and this is Simple Home Brew. I'm at Wyndham Harbour. I'm actually staying here for a couple of days just to get away for a little bit. And I thought I will have a little bit of a walk around where I'm staying, check the place out. It's a bed and breakfast we're staying in. Not the awesome, most awesome bed and breakfast I've ever been to. Um, I've been to some really bad ones and this isn't really bad, but it's not great. <laughs> so here's uh, the golf course, uh, the mini golf area. These guys are closed. We had a big storm come through last night and everything is wet, everything. So this is the mini golf course area. It looks really good. When it got here yesterday, it was just beautiful, sunny. Uh, we thought, wow, we picked a great weekend to do this. And uh, turns out it wasn't a great weekend. So we've got a place called, here's a place where people get together by the look of it. It's um, usually open, I believe, but at the moment it's not. Mini golf is closed. So I guess it's not overly touristy. Mostly overly touristy anyway. So this is an old uh, a cargo, oh, is it? Ca um, cargo carrier, yeah, it looks like one. But yeah, I'll have another look over here. I'm sure you guys would be interested in this. I'm not sure really, but I'm going to show you anyway. So yeah, it's a bit muddy and slushy. So the reason why everything's closed is because of all the storms we had last night that came right through. So that's it, that's a coffee corner area. I might do the tasting in there, but I'll have a good look around first. I've got this building here. This is a little cave or concave area. I see where families can hang out. I'm not sure what all this is. There's the ocean. And then you've got a place called the Elements Coastal Activity Park. I think this is all, what, all a part of that. Right, well here in Werribee Wid South, I'm about to taste a Great Northern, one of the Australia's highest regarded beer for Bogans. This one here, super crisp, a low bitterness, which I'm uh, not a great fan. I like bitter in my beers. Born in Queensland, brewed and bottled in Australia by Great Northern Brewing Co. and the division of Colton United Breweries, Queens Bridge South Bank in Victoria. That's weird. Born in Queensland, brewed in bottled in Australia by Great Northern Brewing Co., a division of Cub United Brewery. Oh, okay, so they're the Club United Brewery in Victoria. Beer made in Australia. Of course it is. Alcohol can cause lifelong harm to your baby. <laughs> and uh, it's just a 3.5% alcohol, which is just a nice, mild flavour. It's a mid-strength beer. Not overly crazy, not bitter. We shall pour it. Not that I drink in public, by the way, in Australia. Uh, I know that, but I'm doing it anyway because this is a tasting channel, not a drinking channel. So we've got our beer poured into a glass and it's actually really golden in colour, nice. Nice and carbonated. I will drink the rest of that in a sec. You can already smell it, it's pretty wafty. Pretty strong in flavour smell. It smells like beer, it's got a, a soft, uh, lagery smell to it. I'd say that's what it is. Great Northern Crisp. Super Crisp. It doesn't really say if it's a lager or not. I guess it is. Let's smell it again. Sweet. Caramelly. Tastes sweet. Caramelly. No wonder people like it. It's a very, very fresh flavour. Got a little bit of fruitness to it. Um, it's a nice beer. It's tasty. Carbonation is beautiful. No wonder the beer is uh, popular. It actually tastes good. I don't mind this one. I don't go for overly commercial beers. <coughs> Pardon me. But this one's good. Like it. Great Northern, eh? I'm not going to promote this big time, but it's a, a good tasty beer, well worth drinking. And uh, like I said in the past, I've never had anything that is awful. Um, I probably have. One of my own ones were pretty bad. But other than that, I've never had anything that was overly terrible in beer. Well, I've been staying down here at uh, Werribee South. Uh, went and did a bit of a, a trip to 
the Werribee Zoo today. Didn't think I was gonna go. It was um, pretty, pretty dismal out there. We had some massive rain uh, overnight and it was just wet and raining all morning and we just said, oh, what a wasted weekend, you know? Stuck here in the rain, floods everywhere. Um, but it turned out really well. We actually had a good visit to the zoo and really enjoyed it, to be honest. Yesterday we went to the Werribee Mansion and uh, it was unbelievable. Um, I recommend going, guys. If you've been around here, and a lot of you I'm sure have, uh, it's a good place to have a visit. Really nice, very eye-opening. And the place is really, really uh, um, uh, traditionally English with an Australian hint and uh, quite enjoyed it. I would love to go back there again and really take some time to explore it. But I did a fair bit of exploring while I was there this week, so it's good. I'm heading back to Terralgan tomorrow. I'm going to do a cruise. I'm going to do a showboat cruise, would you believe? It's all been organised by my sister-in-law. She's done a great job. It's really good. And uh, we're just going to spend two hours on this boat drinking and eating food and watching shows and looking at the environment around me. And hopefully I can share some of that with you. And I'm really enjoying the Great Northern Beer. It's a good beer. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I know my videos are a bit different, but I try to do something different to keep you in a different environment rather than being just some guy sitting in his house talking crap about beer. Great Northern. Good beer. I'll be stocking this in my fridge as, an, as a staple. Cheers. I'll see you again. Bye. Look at this. There's a cow in the tree. A cow in the tree. Look.